Welcome. In this session, we'll summarize some of our findings of the Laplacian matrix. First, a little bit of history. Miroslav Fiedler in 1989 referred to his discovery as the algebraic connectivity of a graph. We, we now refer to this as a binary clustering of the vertices. The algorithm is we create, we take a graph and from that graph we create the Laplacian matrix. We compute the second eigenvector. We know the first eigenvector is all ones. We take the negative entries of this second eigenvector, we assign those to set number one, and we take the other entries and we assign them to set number two. This will provide us with a binary clustering that is, this, that is not necessarily the same as connected components, because we may have one component to the entire graph, but the graph may be in two clusters. We've explored some of the uh, properties of a Laplacian matrix by example. Now we can state them. One is that the Laplacian matrix is real, symmetric, positive semi-definite, which means that all of its eigenvalues are zero or greater. The ones vector is definitely an eigenvector that's associated with this, one of the zero eigenvalues. The dimension of the null space is the number of graph components. The Fiedler vector is one way to give us a binary clustering of the vertices. If we have k distinct components in our Laplacian, in our graph, then that means that the Laplacian matrix is similar to a matrix that has k diagonal blocks and the non-diagonal uh, blocks are all zeros. Let's summarize what we've learned so far. We're now able to find the degree of vertices in a graph uh, numerically as well as going through uh, the graph specification. We know how to create the Laplacian matrix. We can compute the number of graph components by examining the dimension of the null space of the Laplacian. And if, the, there, the, if there's, for example, only one component but there are two distinct binary clusterings, we can find those using the Fiedler vector. We can, if we wish, take the graph find its adjacency matrix, and then from the adjacency matrix, find the Laplacian matrix, and then we can find binary clusters in our graph.